and we love you. Thank you all for coming here. Uh, so we've we've written a letter. We've gotten together 18 different organizations. They're they're native organizations. They're environmental organizations, climate, political, labor. Um, we've, we've, we're calling ourselves the SoCal Indigenous Peoples and Allies in support of Standing Rock. So just a just a brief feeling for what what's in the letter. We the undersigned indigenous-led and allied organizations right from Los Angeles County within the ancestral homelands of the Tonga Gabriel, Gabrielino, Tatavian, and Chumash nations in solidarity with the Sand Standing Rock Sioux tribe and call on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to stop the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline which would cause irreparable harm to sacred land and water as well as the climate. Despite yesterday's welcome announcement that your final decision on granting an easement has been delayed, the Army Corps should revoke the permits under Nationwide Permit 12 and stop the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline permanently. So I'm going to speed through to the end so we don't get up here, but basically the Dakota Access and Energy Transfer Partners has been preparing the, the areas around the Missouri River. They are, they are getting ready. They did a press release the night of Trump's election, figuring, hey, we got it made here. And, and they basically got ready to do the work. And, and us here on this National Day of Action, and we are part of a movement here across North America, not just national. Yeah! There are, there are actions going on in cities across North America today. And what happened, the core, you know, they blinked. But we need, as, as Marco said, we need permanent. We need, we need consultation. So I'll just read the end here. Uh, on November 15th, National Day of Action, uh, advises the recent call for consultation must obtain a free, prior, and informed consent to move forward with Dakota Access. We, re we request that the Army Corps revisit earlier decisions regarding the Lake Oahe crossing and determine, based on the public interest and environmental risks, that the easement for the crossing should be permanently denied. Sincerely, SoCal Indigenous Peoples and Allies in support of Standing Rock. So I think we have a group of